Hi pals, John here with the Lens Power for Lighting 101, Episode 3, Hard Light and Soft Light. So far in our Lighting 101 series, we've talked basically about equipment, whether it's the types of lights or types of modifiers that you might want to use. In the last episode, we talked all about the different kinds of modifiers that are out there. But today we're going to talk about why you might want to use a modifier and why you might not want to use a modifier, and how you achieve different looks using lighting. Hard light is a term used by photographers and videographers to mean a light that casts a very definitive edge to the shadow. Situations where I might want to use hard light is when the hard light complements the subject matter. If I might use hard or aggressive or strong to describe the subject that I'm photographing, I would also probably want to use those same terms to describe the lighting that I'm using on that subject. A good example would be if I was photographing a professional athlete, so that I wanted to highlight the definition of their muscles. That's easier to do with hard light as it creates that strong, hard edge to the shadow than it is to do with soft light. The easiest way to create hard light is to not use a modifier. A bare bulb or an exposed bulb creates hard shadows on your subject. Another way you can do this and still use a modifier is to move the light source further away from your subject. The smaller the source appears in relation to your subject, the harder the light is going to be. One reason you might want to use a modifier and have hard light is to control the area that the light falls on. For example, I could put a grid on the modifier so that the light doesn't spill anywhere but on my subject. As we saw in the last episode, we can add diffusion to our softboxes. And the more diffusion you have, the more it cuts down the level of light that comes through. This is sort of obvious because you're putting more in between the light source and your subject, but it also makes the light softer. Now, soft light has a very gradual fall off in terms of the transition from light to dark. Now, why would you want this? Just as using terms like strong and hard and aggressive for subjects that would use hard light, if you wanted soft and beautiful and round, then you might use soft light. For example, if I was photographing a model or flowers, then I might want soft lighting so that I get a gradual transition of light to dark. Soft light is easily achieved by using a modifier. The larger the modifier is in relation to your subject, the softer the light is going to be. The easiest way to create soft light is to use a nice large modifier. The larger the modifier in relation to your subject, the softer the light will be. One way you can create softer light without having to change modifiers is to bring your modifier closer to your subject. This makes the modifier appear bigger in relation to your subject and allows you to turn down the power on the light, creating that softer look, that more gradual transition from light to dark. Okay pals, hopefully you learned something today in our hard light versus soft light episode. We'll be back next week with episode four on camera and lighting settings. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe so you get notified as soon as that episode is out.